As a portrait and magazine photographer, I understand the importance of choosing the right lens for capturing street portraits. Who's that? Ah, no! oh, King Rich. That's King Rich right there, baby. Ah, no! I'm Cardi. I've had this 85 millimeter for almost 20 years, and I have to tell you, it is by far my second favorite lens. My first has got to be the 50, but this is the second lens I ever bought. The focal length is beautiful. I'm trying to challenge myself with these lens diaries and go out and shoot in conditions that I don't normally shoot under bad light, shooting strangers. And the 85 millimeter is a perfect portrait lens. It's also a perfect street portrait lens. So today I went out and tried to see what I could get with the 85 millimeter. Enjoy this lens diaries we'll see you in there I really like the flattering perspective that the 85 gives perspective that closely resembles how the human eye sees the world just a little bit punched in <laughs> no well you want me to yo let me take a picture of you in your truck. Just go right here. Boss, bro, come on now. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. How can I get it to you? How can I get it to you? I get it. Oh, bro. Bro, here, more. give me more. Give me more. Oh, dude, that's dope. That's dope. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Dude, look at this guy. <laughs> Okay, give me your phone. I'll, ta I'll tap you. Go right. so like this. Do -do -do -do. Yeah, Boom. Bro. That's me. This lens has great compression and it's super flattering with facial features. It has this slight telephoto effect which gives you almost more flattering portraits, especially close up. This lens allows you to maintain a comfortable shooting distance from your subject, especially in street photography, where maintaining respectful space is crucial. It enables you to capture genuine emotions and expression without intruding on your subject's personal space. I really love this lens for its beautiful subject to background separation. With its wider aperture, the 85 produces a beautiful shallow depth of field. This creates a really pleasing bokeh effect that adds depth and emphasizes your subject. The longer focal length of the 85 also adds a three-dimensional feel to your images. I really appreciate the versatility in framing of this lens. Whether you're shooting environmental portraits or close-ups, 85mm offers versatility in the framing. You can easily switch between capturing full body shots or headshots without sacrificing quality. Honestly, I think that for portraits, the 85 could really be the ideal focal length. It's known for the ability to capture portraits with a really natural look. It allows you to maintain that comfortable distance from your subject. You're trying to turn this guy into a model right now. And you're able to create a sense of intimacy. Look at me here. Look at me. That's badass. Just like that. While still like preserving that. your subject's personal space. Stay like that. Like, I really love this lens. Rich. Rich, nice to meet you. Listen. It's important to touch on black and white when it comes to our modern photography. I didn't decide that these photographs were going to even be black and white until I got home and looked at Lightroom. Often, I set my camera for monochrome when I'm out making these type of photographs. I find it easier to remove the color so I can see my frame's composition without the distractions. This was for sure my good service for the day. I mean, he got some skills, right? Might as well. Hi, I'm Steve. Oh, Diana. Nice to meet you. Hi, Richard. Hi, Richard. Oh, you let me take a picture with this, and then I'll send it to you. Oh, okay. I'd rather do that than send it to you. Is that our anniversary? 
Well, congratulations. Thank you guys new to Toronto? It's all good. Was that rude? It's all good. You're bold. I like it. <laughs> I like it. I see you on the camera. I might not. You got to follow me on Instagram. I will. Free anniversary photographs right here on Queen Street. It's important to have a theme or some sort of a main idea when you go out to do street photography. Today when I went out, I wanted to shoot people interacting with their phones, interacting with their technology, them immersed in their phone. That's what I went out trying to catch. I think I did a pretty good job. I also have ongoing projects of looking through reflections, looking through glass, people in movement, people on bicycles, but the amount of people I caught on their phones today was pretty brilliant. Sometimes these candid moments make me so happy, like this photograph right here. This photograph just says everything. You'll also notice I mix asking people for permission to take their photo and just taking photos. I used to never take pictures without permission, but I do it all the time. This is a really beautiful frame. It happens right there. I actually got that woman in a clip earlier on in this video. Special points for finding it. I think this girl wanted me to take her photo, but I was so distracted by this trio and those two pairs of shoes up front, I actually didn't notice they were trying to get my attention until afterwards. Look at those kicks. I had to show them some more. Seems bags was also a theme. Mix in some slow shutter speed. Okay, no. In the 90 minutes that I was out, I got enough for three videos. Are these two friends, co-workers, or lovers? Leave your answer in comments. This is my third Lens Diary. If you haven't watched my 16mm and my 50mm lens diaries, please make sure you watch those next. This was so rewarding. I got so much out of just going out with my camera. As long as you set your intention, have some ideas, have some loose themes that you want to try, and just go shoot something. Truly, the hardest part is actually gearing up and going out. The photographs usually take care of themselves. Special bonus for making it this far, you get to see me quickly rapid fire process a couple of my favorite pictures from this particular 85 millimeter lens diary. Coming up soon, 85 millimeter architecture, 100 millimeter macro lens, and the 135 F2 L series. Can't wait to share that stuff with you. If you guys like this kind of content, please consider dropping a like. Please leave comments on all my requests from earlier in this video. And please share this to somebody who you think might need an 85 millimeter. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.